What's up? It's a Saturday, I know that. It's after opening day of gun season in Michigan where the one child and another child of mine, the son and daughter and I, went out opening day and had some success. If you wanna see that video, I'll link it up above. But right now, I'm out of tags, so I am gonna go up to the buck pole. I'm gonna be interviewing a handful of people, at least whoever feels like talking to a camera. And this is going to be from opening day as well as this afternoon here on Saturday. So let's get down there. You're going to mom's. Yeah. <laughs> That's a beauty. <laughs> That's a stud. <laughs> you should I guess be. We know who's <laughs> Sixteen and a quarter. How about since you're the man, you I'm, give me a. I'm not the man. No. How many? How many? What are we at? How no. many? How many are we at? <laughs> Just tell me. Eighty-three. What time is it? Chad trying to hit it. Seven oh five. Seven oh five. Eighty-three at seven oh five. Hell yeah. Tell me, tell me what you did. Uh, I shot a buck. <laughs> How'd it work out? Who was, were you with mom or dad? or Mom. Mom? Mom freak out? Yeah. Did you freak out? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Tell them how many were out there. So we had two big bucks and uh, one came out, one looked at us, he was looking back, we've seen him, I'm like, mom, there's a big buck in front of us and then another one came out. And Thank you, Brady. Thank you. And then, and then we seen that one, and I'm like, Mom, which one do I shoot? And so she told me to shoot that one. I had a perfect angle on it, and I shot it, and we kicked back. And then she shot at the other big buck. And Mom missed? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was almost a perfect story. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thank you. Good yeah. job, buddy. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Right Look there. at those daggers. Huh? <laughs> those brows? Yeah. Holy cow. That's sweet. Derek, what happened? Well, two does were to the north of me, or sorry, two does were to the south of me this morning, right away, you know, first daylight, and they kind of worked their way through the woods, just kind of milling around, and I checked up to the west of me, and there was some deer running around up in there, and I was able to find them in the binoculars. It was still just breaking day, it was like 7.30, and uh, this buck was pushing those does around and they ended up making their way out right in front of the blind there and shot him at 75 yards. Perfect. Yep, so he went. What was the kicker? 
Sarah was sleeping? Yeah, Sarah was sleeping this morning. <laughs> Welcome to Marion Springs Buck Bowl 2023. Look at all these beautiful bucks. The fifth annual Buck Bowl. This year we're giving away uh, nine guns on the $5,000 in prizes. Family event. Look at, look at the little kids and everything here. So far we've checked in 127 deer. 158 is our record. I think we're going to blow it out of the water. If you've never been to the Marion Springs Buck Bowl, you don't know what you're missing out. It's one of the biggest and best in the state of Michigan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want you all to come on out. See you next year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the tip sticking out. Sure. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. Oh, my. There's roots oh, where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Try to catch me on the night to me. see nothing all afternoon yeah. and then way down 200 yards away a couple does come out hi i'm watching and a scrub comes out two scrubs come out so i'm fixated on these scrubs and then i look over and i see this deer 30 yards i'm like that's a big body deer put in my bino so i'm like oh that's a buck <laughs> and i shoot him and i dropped him right there perfect yeah it's worked out pretty well <laughs> When buck poles are done properly, like I feel like this one is, there there is nothing but enjoyment for each other, for each other's success. And success can be measured in many different ways, but almost definitively, you could say getting a buck, at least in Michigan, is an achievement of success. And it doesn't matter if it's a unicorn spike all the way up to a slob knobber. Everybody there, at least the people that I talk with, are happy for each other and the people that I want to associate myself with. This year was really cool. I mean, every year there's always some really cool point in the buck pole. Either it's some giant buck with bases you can't fit your hands around or if it's just some weird droopy beam type kind of thing. But that giant four point, that giant four point was probably the coolest buck I have seen just because of the uniqueness of it. You, I will never get my hands on something like that again. I'm almost willing to bet money. It looked like, and you guys seen it, it looked like a mule deer, but it was a whitetail. The bases on it were, I think, five inch bases. I think it was a stud, 26 and 26 inch range spread. And that was a four point. Let's be clear, that's a four point. Super unique buck, super happy for that guy. There was a lot of other bucks that came in that were really cool with split brows or droopy beams or some really young bucks with like just character to them. I think for the community in Marion Springs, Michigan, it is a wonderful event run by awesome people and I'm glad I can be a small part of it. Tomorrow is December 1st. I'm going duck hunting this weekend, but before I leave, I just want to leave you with one thing. It takes less energy to be happy for somebody else than it does to be stuck in a grumpy mode and just not be happy for somebody else. It brings you down. Positivity, man, positivity will bring you up here. Negativity just takes you down to the depths. So if one of these people were your neighbors and you're mad at them that they got the buck or shot a smaller buck than you think was right, let it go, man. We all pay for our own tags. And we all have our own ideology of what a trophy is. So it's more about having peace than a rack on the wall or worrying about it. So anyways, there's my little soapbox message. I'm packing to go duck hunting and I will see you guys next year in 2024, hopefully, uh, at the Buck Bowl. Out, gangsta. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>